What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to do a dedicated video on that rumor about the PIF potentially taking Lucid private if there is any actual validation to the rumor potentially and if so, what some current investors can expect in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So this was posted on Twitter, various versions of this, but as you can see, shares of Lucid Group move higher after Ben Harrington Bedeville blog speculated, according to contacts, that the PIF is preparing to buy out the remainder of electric vehicle maker, obviously Lucid. And there is something in here that I do want to bring back up, but who is Ben Harrington? So as you can see right here, it is this individual on a very 1990s looking website. But once again, not here to necessarily judge that. As you can see right here, based on the recent blogs, it doesn't actually list the whole Lucid one. The last one was done on January 21st on the Saturday, but like I said, nothing necessarily in regards to Lucid. But when I was actually doing my live stream, I did point this out. So it does list all of actually Bedeville's tweets. So looking here, it does actually only have roughly about 121, as you can see, followers. So once again, kind of begging the question for the overall credibility of this whole rumor. Because what did develop was because of this blog that was done, a lot of other agencies such as this, so for instance, Seeking Alpha, Bazinga, I believe that in total there was around 10 different articles, all took the exact same information from this blog and just kind of ran with it. So a lot of them are saying the exact same thing and all basically do not know any actual formal offers or pricing or anything like that because of course, if there is going to be a takeover, that is a very big crucial aspect of the whole thing that is the missing aspect of the whole formula so once again when it comes down to it though i think this is still a very big rumor that most likely will stay as a rumor but just to play devil's advocate you kind of just have to watch out just in case and before I get into as far as if it is possible and blah, 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 I just want to point this out. Going back here, as you can see right here, just this one snippet right here. So according to contacts, I find that absolutely very interesting, that wording. Because for instance, if one of you that is watching and you guys tell me that, for instance, the PIF is going to the moon, well, guess what? According to my contact, which is you, you told me that the PIF is going to the moon. So let's say I do a video. According to my contact, the PIF is going to the moon. Is that justification by any means? No, that's just spreading very much incorrect misinformation. So I think in general, if that is very true, then this blog just basically blew up the market and blew up shorts and blew up a lot of different aspects because look at exactly what happened on the intraday chart. Massive, massive growth. I believe at its peak, it was at 98% or somewhere around there. The high was $17.80. Completely craziness that did happen today. But again, just to play devil's advocate, if this is very true, I just wanted to start off by talking about why the PIF potentially would want to take Lucid Private. Well, one of which is all of the actual incentives that, that the PIF is giving Lucid, such as this. So the green bonds, I believe it is roughly about six billion, uh, a most likely majority of which is going to be given to Lucid over the, I think it is a six year span or something like that. And then also there is this, so the 3.4 billion in incentives. And of course, we already know recently at the end of 2022, the PIF did add another 915 million shares of Lucid, of course, because Lucid did in fact need money. So ultimately, when it comes down to it, the PIF might be just seeing all of this as a lot of unnecessary expenses. Whereas if they just buy out the company, then it might actually reduce some of its costs associated to potentially expanding and various other things. So again, it just might come down to costs, or they just might not like necessarily how management is running it. So aka Peter, of course, that's a little bit more of a far fetched explanation. But when it comes down to it, it doesn't necessarily make that much sense. Because I think right now, with it being on the NASDAQ and being kind of split ownership with obviously American companies and other institutions, I think it does have that interesting aspect that the PIF would need because if the PIF does fully take that over, I don't know if the American government or other investors or whatever 
might be, would be willing to fully support it in the same regard as it is now. And even beside the point though, right now the Saudi Arabia or the PIF does have SEER and also that new joint venture as well for the lower price vehicles with China. And so as far as this, I don't see them needing fully owned Lucid, SEER, and then that joint venture. It just is a little bit more overkill as well. So again, that's just my interpretation. I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. And I personally feel over the weekend, a lot of people do really need to think about if there is any credibility to this at all. And if so, potentially, how high or where it might be kind of landing because I think that's also another thing that a lot of investors really need to think about and what we're thinking about when it was kind of going up very high. So potentially how high could Lucid or the PIF offer as far as a price point? And when it comes down to it though, I think you have to look back at the PIF and what they see Lucid as a good buying opportunity. And so of course they did initially get into Lucid just shy of about $10. And recently with their transaction that did happen in December, they bought in at $10.56. So for argument's sake, let's use 10.56 as a fairly good benchmark on what the PIF does see Lucid as a fairly good buying opportunity or at least around that. Typically whenever there is a takeover, they do typically add roughly about 10 to 20 or possibly even 30% as far as a premium above the bid. So when it comes down to, let's say if we use 1056 at about 20%, it is fair to say that most likely the PIF would be offering anywhere between the 12 to $13. And as it was running up during my live stream, which again was very long around four hours, I actually was saying right here that most likely it would be between the 12 to $13. And coincidentally, that is exactly where it did land. So most likely I do feel that if there is a takeover, that is most likely what Lucid would get kind of a given as far as a ultimatum or what technically is referred to here as a formal offer. Which of course though, if it is in fact between that 12 to $13, that is very problematic in among itself. That means any investor potentially with an average higher than for instance $13 is going to get screwed over. And I think this is where it really does suck because beside the point that some investors might potentially lose some money, I think right now Lucid going forward is going to be doing a lot of good things. Whereas 2022 in all honesty was crap. So for instance, a lot of investors who had to kind of stick through Lucid during the crap of 2022 and all the other fun jazz, well, guess what? The 2023 and onward is gonna be a lot better. So why are they going to take that opportunity away from current investors? It just would really suck and I think in reality just kill the sentiment of Lucid in general. And of course, I just wanted to throw this out there as far as the procedures. So in a typical takeover, what would happen is I believe the directors do get the actual offer and then what they do is investors and shareholders vote on it so similar to what happened with twitter but in this circumstance since technically lucid has a controlling interest of lucid based on my interpretation of this i think that they would actually be exempt from having any shareholder votes or anything of that sort so technically whatever they do offer lucid as far as that it's more of a i'm telling you it's going to be that 12 dollar price or i'm telling you it's 14 or whatever it might be so it's a little bit more of a backwards kind of scenario as well so again I think a lot of investors need to do your own due diligence figure out your own personal circumstances and also where your average is and kind of come up with a game plan in your head on what you might be doing for instance on Monday or potentially even if there is some credibility to this so like I said you kind of have to figure out if this is a rumor or if there's any validation to that which right now, who knows? Based on this website and how it looks, I would say that this is a rumor and most likely it's going to stay like that, but you never know. I think in general, based on 2022, there's been a ton of negative uh, rumors about Lucid, but majority of which, oddly enough, they don't come apparent straight away, but they usually do come out that they were very much accurate rumors. So I don't know, Lucid has that interesting kind of scenario, whereas if this rumor came out with Tesla, I would call it BS straight away. But when it comes to Lucid and it coming out that format, 
who knows um but still let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below hopefully i didn't overly confuse you on this because i know this is a very interesting aspect with a lot of different moving parts and potentially you just need to figure out if this is or is not a rumor to start off with and kind of move from there but hopefully this did help let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that said appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on lucid